One of the recurring themes at this year's FESPA is, of course, the green issue. We've heard various views going from the fact that it's essential, that there's no getting away from it, even through to the idea that actually it's simply greenwash. I'm here with Mike Horston of COZO, who is quite passionate about the green agenda. Saving is, is a great thing. Uh, saving in a company is an easy way of doing it. Turning off lights, uh, making sure you're, you're, you're being more economic and, and better uh, placement of your projects and planning, that's all going to help you. But is it going to make the environment better? Is it going to make the planet better? No, it's not. It's just a part of making your company better, but you still have to look at the bigger picture. The bigger picture is not only printing better, but making sure you're working all the way the whole chain. Today, a lot of people are talking about something called reach, which is what kind of chemicals are in your supply chain and what are you doing with that? What part of your supply chain are you? When your wife is going to that supermarket, she's buying a product, but how is it packaged? What, what kind of pop-up sale advertising was there and how was that manufactured? Well, some of the manufacturers of these products that your wife is buying are looking into how are these things made, how are they manufactured? And we try to be, as a pop-up you know, retail type product vendor, because we make banners and we make flags, we try to make it as environmentally as possible. And that is helping us. I think green is, is very important for all of us. I mean, we're not talking for today, we're talking for many, many years from now. You know, what are my children, my grandchildren going to be doing? But as the economics of today and the crisis, we have to be realistic. Um, keeping your company alive is, is, is extremely important. The nice part of it is by becoming greener, you're giving yourself an advantage. In the future, regulations are going to make you go green. So if you do it today, you can might as well take the pain and grow with it and use it as an advantage. We use it as an advantage in our company. We tell people we are green today. We're trying to help you do it and we're doing it for the same price. That is hurting me, but in the long term, it's going to make me and my company a lot better. That is extremely difficult. Um, but you have to be open to it. I mean, if you're going to an ex country somewhere and you know that child labor was involved in your products, is that something you want to tag on to your margarine that you're selling? Is that polluted river something that you want to hang on to your cola? I don't think so. I mean, I think these big corporates are, are very well informed on what the environmental issues are. They don't want their tagging of all these bad things on their product. So if you can tell them in advance that you are doing something good for that whole supply chain, I think they're going to be appreciated of it and they're willing to look at you in, not into the competition. The other advantage is we're green, but we're also fast because we're locally based. When you're locally based, you can produce something today or tomorrow instead of something from Pakistan, China, India, which would be half price. But with the freight costs and everything and the duration of two, three weeks delivery times, you know, you're going to have to ask yourself the question, was it worth it? In my opinion, no. Today, the marketing manager will say, I want green. Maybe the environmentally manager in a company will say, I want to be green. But the print buyer is the one at this moment that is not buying green, he's buying price. That has to be changed. That's a fundamental change that has to go into the industry. When that happens, this industry will be a lot sounder and it'll be a lot better. Better for the environment, but also better for basically all of us and even myself. The Planet Friendly Guide is something which is opening the minds. I think that's the first step. By opening the mind of the consumer or the printer or the print shop provider or anybody in Vespa is, is looking at this and saying, oh, maybe I can't turn that light out. Maybe it's, it's a small little thing happening, but it's the first thing happening. It's like, you know, what we discussed before with a lot of other people saying, you print green. I said, yeah, we print green, we print blue, we print red. We do a lot of colors. But at the end of the day, we try to do them all environmentally. Yes, it's great to do it. Yes, it's impossible to do 100%. If I would do 100%, I would basically have to plant all of the Netherlands full of trees, which is a bit ridiculous also. We're all driven by the end of the day of money. If you don't have the money to do anything, you can't be green. But green is helping me become more stable. And stability in a company is what's going to make profits. 
because when I have stability, I can look at the things and say, maybe if we do this or we do that, we're getting a little bit better and we're getting a better margin. And by increasing my margin and becoming greener, I'm doing better for everybody. So we're happy with it. Thank <laughs> you.